This is the only thing I know is the D major scale. <laughs> like mediocre. <laughs> One day I'll be able to play the song, but that's not today. Hi guys! Oh, this is- I feel really weird. I just feel like it hasn't- like it's obviously been a year, and it's I'm been a long year, but it's also been super quick. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Christmas. What is this our- th I think this is our third video in 2019. 2020. This is our fifth one. Ew. This is our sixth one? <laughs> And also, this is a collab with Peyton Carly. She you know what I got for Christmas already. already. Okay, to start off with, um, I'm just gonna let you guys know. Well, I don't have a closet door right now. Okay, guys, so starting off, I got to perfume. I literally mow through perfume. Girls, we like spray 10 squirts and we don't think it's enough. And then guys are like, Ch and that's it. And so their perfume, their cologne lasts them forever. But us girls, we mow through. So, especially me, I was like literally low on perfume and then. I got sent one by Daisy Mark Jacobs, which was my favorite for Christmas. And then I got this one, which was Viva La Juicy. You guys know me. I love smelling juicy. And then I got this Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. Is there a name for this or is it just Miss Dior? Like the original. It smells so good. It's like very floral. And then this one's super sweet smelling, but two of my favorites. And then next up, I we did like a family gift exchange. We always do these. And Nathan like, it, and it was the budget like 25 bucks. I think that was the budget. And like... Nathan wrapped this and I opened it and I was like, oh, thanks. Because I, I do like Nat King Cole, but I don't own a CD player. So I was just like, mm. And he's like, yeah, I found that in the garage. And I was like, then I opened it. <laughs> a little prankster. There was a $25 Ulta gift card in here. So Nathan actually did. I feel like Nathan gave the most thoughtful gift. Uh, okay. So then up next, I got this. This is the Hot Tools Professional Stylist. This is a half inch curling iron slash wand. We have owned the same one for like 12 years and it pretty much doesn't even work anymore, but we loved it. And so Evelyn surprised me. I didn't even realize. I, even, I did not expect this, but she got to expect anything. Anyway, so this is a bad boy. We're going to replace the old one. Say au revoir. Au revoir, and then give it a funeral service or something. I actually got to feel like a lot of hair products this year. I asked for this for Christmas. It's the Kevin Murphy Plumping Wash. It's shampoo and conditioner. This stuff is so nice, and since it's for thinning hair, I find a little bit of offense in that. Up next, Evelyn also got me the Olaplex Bond Smoother. So this is number six. So this is like a leave-in conditioner. And then where's the other one? Uh, well, she got me this leave-in conditioner. This one's super nice. I've actually owned this one before and I've always liked it. It's very lightweight. Then my mom got me a brush. We literally, there's four girls in this family and I could, I haven't been able to find a hairbrush in like weeks. I've been using like the, like a comb. So my mom literally all got us hairbrushes. So then up next, another hair product. Shocker. Um, this is the Amika. The cure it's an intense repair mask i feel like i can never get enough of these hair masks i just think they're this is my form of self-care like i'd much rather do a hair mask than a face mask like this is way more beneficial secondly another another hair mask this is the ava new york city nyc i've owned this one before and this one's from ulta i think it's 15 bucks so it's like a pretty it's a fairly cheap hair mask but i feel like it works really well and so this is the therapy session hair mask okay up next um evelyn got me i feel like they do sponsors like, on like instagram ads all the time i wear I feel like quite a few of those those blouses and shirts that have like the square neck cuts but sometimes it's so annoying because you're just bra shop your bra shop is like constantly being adjusted and I wish someone had a clothing line where they like fixed that <laughs> this bra and specifically I'd seen on the website and Evelyn owned it too where it's like really wide so it goes over super far and kind of lower than usual so I'll show you guys it's called the balconet bra but um so for any girlies out there that like need that it's i'm wearing it right now and i actually really like it the cup at balconette bra and i just got in the shade white i think <laughs> congrats ow next evelyn shocked me with this one i was like not expecting but i like always like ever since um evelyn got me the we're not really strangers this is, is this which exp is which pack is this i think this is just the og is this the og one but it's basically if you guys don't know what it is we're not really strangers is a very like self-analytical like company it's a brand but they like ask you these questions that like make you think and so they have this card game where it's like a bunch of just really thought-provoking questions and then you can like play it and apparently people cry when they play it um i didn't ask for this in specific but i thought it was so cool that i got it because i've always followed the we're not really strangers account and up next i got the golden coast soy candle these are my all-time favorite candles the soy candles they're do they sell them just at nordstrom or is like i'm a big fan of like manly smelling candles up next i got this right here and um last year i asked for this right here um joe faving is a composer a piano composer I is he J dutch i asked for this last year and it's just his record and so it's super pretty piano music and then this year i asked 
asked for his actual piano sheet music. So I got his slops, how do I say it, slopsism? But it's all of his piano music. I'm not gonna show you the front cover of this one because uh, this YouTube video might get flagged, but it's like, <laughs> but this is his uh, prehension album. So this is just his second one and I'm really stoked to play that, so. Thank you, Santa. So then for myself, I got these bad boys and these are just the New Balance 210s. We were at Zoomies actually shopping for, I think, Sam for a pair of shoes and then I saw these and I was like, I like those, but they're just like mid-high New Balance tennis shoes. They're really comfy. They're super white and so they are already looking very dirty, but you know, the worn and vintage look is good. So, and then secondly for shoes, these are the Women's Air Jordan Low ones in the Carolina, North Carolina. Carolina UNC blue. These are so cool and so cute, but I literally don't even know how to style them because I've never owned a pair of like this type. This is like hype wear. Like I don't usually wear stuff like this. And so whew, if you guys have any like recommendations for styling, I know Pinterest like has a ton of stuff, but yeah, I am still trying to figure out how to wear these, but they're beautiful. Anyway, so this was like a really big Christmas gift, but super cute shoes. The elephant in the room. I rented a cello. The cellos are like so expensive. They really are. And especially to buy like a, like a decent quality one. Um, so I went to a local music store that's here in my town and I basically rented a cello. So this is my cello. I think I was going to name him Nat after Nat King Cole. Um, so I'm currently taking lessons. I had my first lesson yesterday actually on Christmas Eve and now I have it like every Thursday. Cello lessons. So I'm going to do my best to like learn and see how much I can get done and like get the basics done. And then I don't really post about music that much on my channel. I like playing it, but I don't really... The two cellos. Th <laughs> Guys, if you, if you know what video I'm talking about, the two cellos Thunderstruck video, I watched that in the sixth grade and ever since then I've always, that was the beginning of my love. I So I played the, the violin in sixth and seventh grade, so I did orchestra early morning in the sixth grade. I would literally go, his mom would drop me off before school started. It's six in the morning, I would go play the cello, I would go play the violin. The final gift. See this envelope? This isn't any envelope. Back, literally when did we start watching The Price is Right? Like six? Oh, I've been watching since forever. Five? Yeah. Literally, like, that was my, I loved staying home from school because they would only play on the weekdays at 11 a.m. So, like, the only time I could watch it was either the summertime or if I, like, stayed home from school and would watch it. So, I would watch The Price is Right growing up and it's, I think I talked about this in my 17th birthday haul. But, like, it's always been a dream of mine to actually go to The Price is Right. I don't even, like, I don't even care if I, like, participate or not. I just want to see, isn't it Drew Carey that's the host? Yeah, like I just like want to be in his presence. I want to be in the atmosphere. I love the game show and this is what I got for Christmas this morning. This is like looks so scary. Like, it says Marla, come on down. You've got tickets to the prices, right? Did you draw that? Well, I traced <laughs> over it because the ink went out. And literally, it says Marla. Like, Evelyn printed out like this certificate thing. Next November, November 2021, Evelyn and I are going to the Nugget Resort. <laughs> Is that really what it's called? <laughs> Nugget Casino Resort. We're literally gonna go to Nevada and we're gonna go to one of their shows live. And so that was another thing too, is the reason why I couldn't go like all these past years is because you have to be 18 to be like on the show and I'll be 18 by then. I literally may or may have not shed a few tears when I opened up that gift, but like I am so excited. I hope with the pandemic and everything like it, like we're able to go on the trip. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but like I just, I'm so stoked. And we were joking around that like, what if I just come home with a car, a new kitchen set, a pool table? They're endless. Maybe you win the final showcase. I win the final showcase. Oh, that'd be so funny. Evelyn and I, we will be with Drew Cameron. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. So, and then rapid fire, we got the stocking. I'm just gonna really rapid fire show you guys. Chocolate covered cinnamon gummy bears. Shadow eyelash curler. Sass my brow pencil. Dufa. More chocolate cinnamon gummy be bed. Chipstick and chipstick. Uh, gum. Ooh, KKW contour kit. Did you put that in your own I stocking? I put that in my own stocking. You guys, some hair elastics. Mom thinks, mom thinks I'm on a diet. And then we got the Brazilian bum bum cream. This is basically like lotion and it smells so good. On the way, toothbrush, dry shampoo. I feel like I kinda need some of this. Reese's with pretzels. And hemp. Does this even kill COVID? Uh, and then we have hemp. Mm. Mom loves the weed lotion. She loves weed lotion. Oh, this one's good. It's sweet almond. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and then we got the EOS chapstick. I am just, I got all the essentials. Yep, I think that's it for 2020. Go the weed Uh, See, this year's been, I wouldn't want to like relive this year, but I wouldn't change anything. I, yeah, like it's been, there's been like a lot of self growth, a lot of, I feel like really, not realization, because it's not that I didn't realize how important family was, but I feel like especially this year, I've like learned to, I feel like my gratitude for like my family 
has grown. No, like I feel like this year especially, I'm like really like what it comes down to is who you are and who you love. Like, no, but I, I really am. I'm grateful too. I feel like this year, so many people are hit so hard with like COVID and all that. And like, we have the blessing of like, this is our job is to upload videos online. We were still able to like do that. I'm just grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for this Christmas season. Grateful for my savior Jesus Christ for his birth. And I'm just grateful for all these opportunities that we have. I don't know what 2021 is gonna bring. We might die. <laughs> I'm grateful for you guys. I just want to say thank you for all of your support and um, wouldn't be, wouldn't probably be in this like exact situation right now if it weren't for you guys. So thank you. And I hope you guys are all having a safe Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're just having a wonderful holiday season. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Deuces. Sweet creature. <laughs> I don't even know what's up.